Amazing sounding preamp with a silk protocol that when you crank it up, it sounds more like a 1073. And I really like the vintage 1073 from Neve. So I've invested a lot of time and effort in my home studio. And one of those investments is my over $10,000 vocal chain. What's up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my home studio. I am your host, Archie Beats. Today we are diving deep into my over $10,000 epic vocal chain and this is a new series on my channel so who epic vocal chain should i do next comment below and i actually got the idea for this video my song play was premiering on the radio show on 97.9 the beat about a month and a half ago and i was like wow why don't i ever tell people my vocal chain why don't i ever do a video dedicated to my vocal chain and how i use it and i said you know what let me just get to this but i just finally got to it so we're here now and before we get started, let me just say this. You don't need expensive gear to create great quality music. But if you want to invest in your studio and you want to invest in your equipment, your vocal chain, your keyboards, your microphones, whatever you want to invest in, that is you. It never hurts to invest in something that you are passionate and that you are in love with. So invest away, build your dream. And another thing, technology is so amazing. You can achieve getting great quality sound with spending so little nowadays. So I will talk about some more affordable options in this video as well. I've built my home studio, as I stated, about seven years ago. And one of the first things I purchased was my Norman U87, which came in at about $3,699. And that is the first piece of my vocal chain. And recently, I've been finding myself leaning more towards the Lauten Atlantis uh, microphone, which has some really cool voice shaping option and gang staging. And I have reviews on about 80 percent of the things that i'm discussing in this video so be sure to check the description below and watch those videos after you watch this one though and the next piece is a very 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 important piece when it comes to your vocal chain that is the preamp i invested in the knee 5211 preamp amazing sounding preamp with a silk protocol that when you crank it up it sounds more like a 1073 and i really like the vintage 1073 from neve so this was a perfect you know investment especially getting some modern tones and then getting kind of that vintage tone just in case if i wanted to do that to the u87 or lauten atlantis and to my knee 5211 and now into the universal audio 6176 a lot of you guys are probably asking why is it going into another preamp it's actually not we have this running through and we have the button split on the actual 6176 and it's split and I'm just using the 1176 compressor, which you all know the 1176 compressor is amazing. So that's one of my favorite compressors of all time. So let's review so far. We are going from my U87 Lauten Atlantis into my Ne 5211 into the universal audio 6176 and now for the finale into the audio interface which is the apollo 8 quad which comes in at about twenty eight hundred dollars that's what i paid for it back in 2015 that's what i paid for it back in 2015 or the universal audio x4 which is normally twenty two hundred dollars but it's on sale right now for nineteen hundred dollars which is really great i like to go into my universal audio apollo 8 quad because the universal audio apollo rack units are the only units the only apollo units that you can actually bypass the built-in preamps when you're using an external preamp. With that being said, you can still use external preamps with the Apollo X4, the Apollo Twin X. You just won't get that built-in preamp bypass because there is a preamp sitting there regardless if you add a unison preamp to it or not. The Apollo has built-in preamps. So it's gonna be there to the untrained ear. Nobody will hear anything, but that's just food for thought. Let's review. My U87 or Lauten Atlantis into my Neve 5211. Out of that into the Universal Audio 6176, bypassing the preamp to 610 and just splitting the signal and going directly through the compressor, the 1176 compressor, then into my Apollo 8 quad or my apollo x4 depending on what situation am i, am I traveling i don't travel with my apollo 8 quad anymore yes 
my load is so light now so <laughs> so now for some more affordable options which sound just as good one thing with the u87 is the axino from antelope sounds really great the review on that video is coming out not even five days from now so you guys definitely subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so you won't miss that as well universal audio make the 1073 waves have amazing plugins as well you can go check out i know c um, the chris lord algae the cla and speaking of that all CLA plugins this weekend as of September, what's the date? What's the date? September 17th, this weekend of September 17th, all of CLA plugins are $29.99. So get over there, check the link below. I have it. I don't make any money off of it, but still check it out. I think it's very vital and important for you guys to have those plugins because they are helpful and they are very inexpensive options. Something about when it goes through it, it's sort of nevish and the compressor is very 1176. I just hear it in it. I don't know exactly spec what they put into it, but I can tell you it has a character to it. I can definitely see him making an approach with vocals from an 1176 perspective because he has very unique sounding 1176, the blue face, blue strip ones. And I can't see him not approaching it that way, but that's what we have. So you can really achieve great sound by using inexpensive plugins. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you guys have any questions, make sure you comment them below. Hey, don't forget to be great and create. This is your Barcha Beats and I'm signing off.